I am so glad that somebody finally wrote an article about this. This comes up all the time, primarily when I'm practicing in Georgia. It's less common in the state of Florida. But I'll show up to a deposition and the other attorneys will say, all the same usual customary stipulations. And I say, I don't know what that even means because I really don't. Sometimes the court reporter asks, are the parties all agreeing to the usual and customary stipulations? You'd be shocked. But I usually hear attorneys say, oh, yeah, of course. And I feel like they're just doing it because they don't want to sound stupid by asking, hey, what on earth does that mean? There's no bad question. You remember that from law school? Maybe even high school? Well, it applies here equally. Typically, what I think people mean, and every time I've asked for clarification, it's consistent with what this article talks about, is people are asking you to basically hold off lodging any objections during the deposition until you want to use the deposition for trial or for some other purpose. But if you really think about it, if you're the one asking questions, if you're the one doing examinations, as this article points out in a pretty fresh take, you're implicitly giving the defending attorneys a strategic advantage because the rules of procedure almost always require contemporaneous objections to the form of a question if the defect that that attorney perceives with the basis for objecting can be cured during the deposition. They have to give you, the person asking the question, an opportunity to fix it. Well, if they don't have to object because you've stipulated to some usual and customary thing, well, now you've given them an advantage where they can sit back, not object at all, and then later get to formulate much better strategic responses before you use it at trial. Great article here. Glad to see it.